Have you ever wondered how breeding certain types of budgies can lead to vibrant, eye-catching colors and unique feather patterns? Well, today we're diving into one of the most fascinating aspects of budgie genetics, dilute mutation budgies and their cross-breeding outcomes. If you're passionate about budgies or just curious about how this colorful world works, stay tuned. Dilute mutation budgies explained. So what exactly is a dilute mutation? Let's start with the basics. A dilute mutation in budgies is a genetic alteration that causes the bird's usual colors to appear lighter or more washed out. It doesn't necessarily affect the shape or structure of the budgie, but it dramatically changes the overall color. Saturation of its plumage. The dilute gene is a recessive gene mutation. To explain, a dilute budgie needs two dilute genes that come from both parents to be a dilute budgie. Besides, the mutation is a diluting mutation. As a result, the dilute mutation dilutes 70% of the body colors and markings. Budgies typically come in a spectrum of colors thanks to their original blue and green mutations, but the dilute gene acts as a modifier. Think of it like turning down the saturation on a photo, where the vibrant hues become more pastel-like, softer, and sometimes even subtler. The dilute mutation can affect the body feathers, face, and even the tail. This gene interacts with other mutations, making it a key player in budgie breeding. Characteristics of dilute mutation budgies. Now, let's talk about what makes dilute mutation budgies so distinct. These budgies are known for their lighter, more pastel colors. Instead of the rich, vivid greens or blues typical in wild-type budgies, dilute budgies exhibit soft, light greens, blues, and even pale yellows. One of the most notable traits of dilute budgies is their muted tones. For instance, a standard blue budgie may have a deep cobalt hue, but the dilute mutation will lighten that color to a soft, almost icy blue. It's not just the body feathers. The face and wings can also take on a lighter shade. In some cases, the dilute mutation may also affect the bird's overall appearance, making them look slightly more washed out with a subtle sheen or glow to their feathers. This unique visual makes them popular among breeders and budgie enthusiasts. Breeding of dilute mutation budgies. So, how does breeding dilute mutation budgies work? Breeding these birds is all about understanding genetics, specifically the way dominant and recessive genes work. The dilute mutation is typically considered a recessive gene, which means that both parent budgies need to carry the dilute gene for the offspring to express the dilute color traits. If only one parent carries the gene, the resulting chicks may carry the mutation but won't display it outwardly. However, when two dilute budgies are bred together, there's a high chance that their chicks will inherit the dilute color pattern. Another important aspect of breeding dilute budgies is considering how the mutation interacts with other color mutations. For instance, if a dilute budgie is bred with a budgie that carries a blue or green mutation, the colors can blend in interesting ways. These cross mutations can lead to stunning results, producing birds with even more varied and subtle colorings, like pastel greens, blues, yellows, and even lavender hues. Cross-breeding outcomes of dilute mutation budgies. Ah, but what about those cross-breeding outcomes? This is where it gets really interesting. Cross-breeding dilute budgies with other mutations can lead to some truly spectacular results. Look at some cross-breeding outcomes. When pairing a dilute male with a dilute female, the result will be 100% dilute chicks. In the second pairing, where a dilute male is paired with a normal female that is split to dilute, the outcome will be 50% dilute and 50% normal split to dilute chicks. For the third pairing, when a normal split to dilute male is paired with a normal split to dilute female, the result will be 25% normal, 50% normal split to dilute, and 25% dilute chicks. In the fourth pairing, where a dilute male is paired with a normal female, the result will be 100% normal split to dilute chicks. Finally, when a normal split to dilute male is paired with a normal female, the result will be 50% normal split to dilute and 50% normal chicks. However, keep in mind that crossbreeding isn't always predictable. Genetics can be complex. And 
While some outcomes are more likely, there's always an element of surprise. You might end up with a range of offspring, from almost pure dilute budgies to birds with more intense coloring, all depending on the genetic makeup of both parents. The key takeaway is that crossbreeding dilute mutation budgies can lead to an entire spectrum of stunning colors and patterns. And with careful planning, breeders can enhance certain traits like feather texture, color intensity, and even personality traits that may come along with the mutation. So, there you have it. Dilute mutation budgies aren't just beautiful too. They're a great example of how genetics can work in the fascinating world of bird breeding. From their subtle pastel tones to their potential for eye-catching cross-breeding outcomes, dilute budgies offer endless possibilities for both enthusiasts and breeders alike. As with any breeding project, though, it's crucial to be mindful of the genetic health and well-being of the birds. With knowledge, care, and a bit of patience, you can create a beautiful and healthy generation of budgies. If you're considering breeding dilute budgies or just enjoy watching the mesmerizing results of these color mutations, remember, it's all about experimentation, learning, and appreciating the art of genetics. Thanks for tuning in today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more bird care and breeding tips. Until next time, happy birding!